Right, wet in wet, Lakeland scene. I've got the Fabriano paper, it's 130 pounds, 15 by 11 inches. Uh, it's about 60 degrees. Probably just a little bit too, too still. Let's just reduce, oops, let's just reduce the, uh, a bit better. Okay, add a bit of uh, raw sienna into that. Not heavy. Bit of alizarin and I red mixed in with that. Let's just have a just a blush of red. Very strong colour, like red. Right, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this, but I'll just put in some cloud. Mix the light red, alizarin. Bit of ultramarine. Stephen Crane has done some nice paintings lately. And water. Yeah, so we'll put in the sky reflections. So what happens to them? Going off into the... A bit of more detail on the, these little clouds here. Right, okay, let's uh, take off the excess moisture from the bottom here. Reclip the paper because it's growing. And put some mountains under that. But it's a bit sopping wet, so I'm going to just dry it up. Swig of tea. I bought one of those MX uh, Pro streaming boxes uh, online. Do you think I can get the thing to work? The remote control or the keypad don't seem to want to talk to the to the box. They're only tiny, only small. So I'm waiting for the uh, company that flogged it to me. So if get back, oh, you have to send them an email. What do you think is wrong with it? Then they, they come back and, well, see what happens. Very disappointed. So a bit of a in there as well. Uh, Scottish Highlands, maybe Lake District. Let's uh, come across with some some deeper, deeper ones here. It's hard to get my horizon horizontal. Always a problem if you don't draw it out first. Mm. Just 
Just a bit of this and a bit of that really. Bit of bluey green. We're going uphill, no, not too much. Don't want it too straight. Okay, so we'll put in some nice dark green. Bluey green. Just on one or two of these ridges. Don't be afraid to use blue or the full strength if you can manage to do it. My hike has uh, come apart. I can put some yachts against this background here. Right, well, okay, so that's nice. Let's get in some nice sienna in there. Almost tube consistency, this is. But it's putting plenty of colour in on that background. Put a bit of a beach in along there if we can. A bit of sienna, a bit of umber. So a nice chisel edge. Right, okay. And a bit of a tire going. Okay, let's just flick in a few. Things. Let's uh, see if we can get a building or two. Yeah. Uh, got a smaller bit of card. Uh, sort of. I'll just cut it. Just ordinary bit of plastic card. Just makes it look as if there's something going on, you know, in the background there. It doesn't have to really mean anything. So I get your roof levels right. Oh, well, that'll do. That's, that's something in that background, isn't it?
boat houses, all sorts of things in there. church in there as well. Right, so it's doing a little bit, I've done a lot. That works reasonably well, probably a bit crowded there. But okay, let's put in a bit of a beach now. A bit of various colours. Some rocky for sure, various colours, nice and dull, a bit of green. Put some rocks in there, but you need, you need plenty of dark, rich colour in there so that when you lift out, it shows. Rocky, rocky shore. Going for it. Go for it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put in some some shrubbery. In that rocky shore there. Okay, nice, good dark. Whoa, look at that. I've got to do some reflections on that somehow. But I'll do the uh, the rough stuff first. Then when that's dry. Rewet it and go in with a with some reflection. Well, that's supposed to be a bit of uh, greenery. Don't want that one to compete with the one there. Let's uh, do some shadow on this. If your rocks don't work, you can always scrape them out. Well, paint over them. And do some more. Some nice greenery in there. Although it's very, very dark green, should I say. Okay, well, I quite like that. Right, all these little shortcuts. All ads. Interest. Right, let's dry that off, Take your headphones off. Go. The point of this this paint or the attempt of painting is to uh, dramatise lots of uh, rich, rich, deep colours. Now 
I'm going to clean off my palette and then come in with some clean water. Alright. I think if, if a lot of you are watching Stephen Cronin, Cronin as well, uh, we both use the same stuff. I, the only thing I've really picked up Stephen that I use is this is drying the paints on the palette, on this palette. I used to use the big one that Ron Ransom did 25 years ago, a big large butcher's tray. But Stephen's is a much better idea, I think, for this sort of painting. But we're, we paint totally different, uh, similar material, but paint in totally different ways. I'm sure we do feed off each other. Right, okay, so clean water. Let's make sure that is clean. Right, now I'm going to draw paint all the way across there, leaving a margin of white, or whatever colour that is under there. Just turn it down so it all floods down. Now, with those colours, I'm going to put that nice, rich, ready, bluey, Payne's grey. Go all the way across here. Just let it run down by gravity. All the way, a little bit of sienna in there. Just let that come on down there. And then we'll put that bluey background. Now we'll try this in a moment. Let's just drag that down a little bit. Let's take some water, clean water underneath. Right. Soften it. Okay, let's just dry that off. So we're taking our phones off. Ah. that's fiddling around with it when it's wet. Right, bit of tissue and a damp hake and we'll just take off some of this wind ruffle. That hasn't really worked. Probably because I fiddled around with it. Take a bit off there. One used to call that a thirsty bake. But anyway. I suppose it's too bad. Pity about that, I would have made a vile mess of that in the end. Oh well. I'll sign it and I'll put it in a mount. Wet. Have a swear for me. It's probably better than I think it is. Right, a couple of birds in there, I think.
Right, I was going to lift out something, wasn't I, on there? So I will. Anything else I want to cover up? Let's uh, do one here. No, I'm not going to get much more out of that, I don't think. I'm just losing the edge of the paper. Right, let's put it in a mountain. Right? Right. Well, it's a bit muddy, but... Well, maybe it's not too bad. I quite like the foreground. And I quite like the lifting out. When you do, you've got to really make sure your, your roofs, your, your ridges are horizontal. Or in perspective, anyway. This was experimental, this, this bit here. But I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed it and take something from it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.